Hi all, I'm Jessica with the Hood School of Acting and today we're going to talk Meisner. So I'm going to start with two of my students demonstrating the first two stages of this technique. Once they come on up here, I will pop on and explain why we're doing what we're doing. Also, if you're interested in a free online class, please click the link below. All right, I'll be back. You have pearly earrings. I have pearly earrings. You, you have pearly earrings. <laughs> I have pearl earrings. You have pearl earrings. I have pearl earrings. You have pearl earrings. <laughs> I have pearl, pearl earrings. earrings. You have pearl earrings. I have pearl earrings. You have pearl earrings. I have pearl earrings. I have pearl earrings. You 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 have pearl earrings. <laughs> I have pearl earrings. You have pearl earrings. 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 I have pearl earrings. Okay, great. You have Thank you both Seth and Angela. <laughs> okay. So, this is what we call first stage repetition. It's the very first stage in this technique. The purpose of this stage is to teach you to listen and respond. That's really the goal of this, is to have an experience with this person, to allow them to change you by listening to their tone. That's really what we want to work towards, is listening to not what they're saying, but how they are saying it. What is going on with this person? Are, are they being kind? Are they being you know, friendly? Are they being condescending? Are they being snarky? What is happening with this person? And then how do I feel about it? That's really the sole purpose of this exercise. Listen to this person, allow them to change you, have an experience with them, be affected by them without having to think about what I'm saying because you're literally saying the, whole, the same thing the whole time, right? So it's really about listening to how it's being said and how it affects you. Now you'll find yourself when you do this exercise because believe me, it happens all the time. We're gonna start getting in our head thinking, well, how can I make this interesting? Hmm, I'm just saying the same thing over and over again. What can I do to change this up? We wanna get away from that. We really wanna just, just put, it, put your attention on this person, your focus on this person and listen to them. What is going on with them and how does it make me feel? Okay, once I see that you're nice and simple, you're really connected with them, then I'm gonna move you to what we call second stage repetition. All right, I'm gonna have these two demonstrate and I'll be back. You have brown eyes. I have brown eyes, you like that. <laughs> I do like that. I appreciate that. that. You appreciate that's that. That's cute. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> <laughs> that made you a little bit nervous. I, I did make me nervous. A little you're, bit nervous. I'm nervous. You're nervous. I I'm feel nervous. bad. You feel bad. Yeah, I feel bad. I appreciate that. Oh. That feels sincere. That was sincere. That was sincere. That's cute. That's cute. Yeah. You're sweet. Oh, thank you. Oh, I appreciate that. You appreciate that. I appreciate that. That makes me happy. It makes you happy. Yeah, it makes that's me feel so good. That's so cool. Oh. <laughs> You're flirting with me. I'm flirting with you? You're surprised by that. I'm confused. You're confused? Yeah, I'm oh, confused. That's frustrating. You find that surprising and frustrating? I'm I'm frustrated. You're frustrated? That's You're so weird. confused by that. It's that's weird. So weird. Yeah. Doesn't that's make weird? Sense. That doesn't make any sense. I'm offended. You're offended. I'm offended. You're surprised by that. I'm very surprised. <sighs> You're laughing this off. I'm laughing it off. I feel bad. You're upset. I feel bad. I'm sorry. I am upset. I appreciate that. You appreciate that. I appreciate that. You appreciate that. I appreciate that. All right. That's good. Great. Very, very good, you two. Thank you. Okay, so this is what we call second stage repetition or repetition with a point of view. So what we're working towards with this stage is when we change the repetition, we are only changing the repetition when you see an emotional change off of your partner or you feel an emotional change because of them. And that's it. Now, once again, you're going to find yourself searching for words because, you know, what I always tell all my students is we don't go around using emotional language all the time. It's just as humans, we don't do that. We don't walk around, you know, this is how I feel about this, this is how I feel. We, we, and we don't pinpoint how ever, everyone else feels around us, right? So it's just kind of getting back to that space of being able to pinpoint how we feel emotionally about things and how our partner feels and allowing that to change us. Really what we're trying to do is have an experience with this person, be vulnerable with this person, let them move us and, and us be moved with them and then be moved off of us. And that's what we're working towards at this stage. Um, trying to stay out of our head and not focusing on, you know, what clever words can I use here? What intellectual words? It's not about that. It's an emotional language that we're trying to work towards. It's figuring out how we feel emotionally off of our partner and in, in here. 
Okay, um, and so once we move past this stage, we're gonna get to what we call an activity and a hover. And you've probably seen many uh, videos of me explaining activity and hover. I'm gonna skip that today just because I have people back there emotionally preparing. Um, once we've learned how to do an activity hover, then we're gonna teach you how to emotionally prepare. And then we're gonna do exactly what you're gonna see next, which is an activity with emotional preparation and a door with emotional preparation. Then they'll work off of each other. Okay, so I'm gonna grab them and then I'll be back out. Thank you both Seth and Angela. Jeremy and Leah, whenever you're ready, please. That's frustrating. That's frustrating. Oh, yeah, it's, I'm frustrated. God damn it. Come in. That's weird. That's weird? Yeah, that's weird. You're weird. You're weird. Weird me out. I don't appreciate that. You don't appreciate that? No, I don't appreciate that. I'm sorry, all right? I'm sorry. I appreciate it. This is weird. This is weird? This is weird. This is weird. This is weird. You're nervous. A little bit nervous. You're nervous? Yeah. That's frustrating. That's frustrating. That's frustrating. That's frustrating. My gosh, yes, it's frustrating. I really don't care. I really don't care. Right? Can you move, please? You think this is funny? Move. I don't think this is funny. No, I'm going to move. Move. No, seriously, Lane, move. Move. God damn it. Okay, great. I'm going to stop it here. Okay. Okay. What we're doing here is we're trying to teach you to believe in the imaginary circumstance. Okay. So when we talk about an activity, it has to be revolved around three things. It needs to be physically difficult. There needs to be a time constraint. So we have limited time to get this done because otherwise he might as well just put this down, look at her and, and hang with her. But we have an urgency. There, there's that need to get it done right now. Okay. And there's the meaning, the why. The meaning is so important. And we talk about this in class all the time. You have to understand why you're doing it and you have to justify it. Um, it's very, very important. So when we talk about a door and activity, um, we're, we as actors get to create this 
awesome imaginary circumstance that makes sense with our life. At this stage, Jeremy's actually uh, newer, so he's only done emotional preparation, I don't know, maybe uh, maybe a month or two, right? So not too long ago at all, it, it's very new to him. So he's what he's doing is he's coming in emotionally full, and then through the doing of the task, the task will change him. And then through his listening to his partner, his partner will change him. That's what we're working towards. And, and they did a great job. Um, you know, he was really frustrated and, and somewhat self-consumed in the beginning. And he didn't realize, you know, what was going on with her. But then once he dropped that, they had such a great exercise. Um, and he believed in his activity so well, he was really committed to getting it done, right? The balance is to try to be able to really be committed to that task, to believe in that task, but also... Let your partner move and change you. Don't just focus just on one and, and you know, not the partner, but to be able to train our ear to pick up on emotional changes. We don't have to be staring at them the whole time, right? Um, and Leia followed her instincts in such a beautiful way. She felt like he wasn't taking her in. He wasn't taking her seriously. It really irritated her. What did she do? She kind of knocked the cups over. That changed him drastically. He went from being frustrated, nervous, anxious, to really emotionally upset, uh, crying over his task where he wasn't when he started because of the belief in the imaginary circumstance. And then they had a beautiful thing happen. She ended up realizing how important this was to him. And what did she do? She helped him out. She actually was throwing the balls to him to, to assist him, which is great. You know, they worked off each other really nicely in that way. Um, so this is the stage that we're working towards at this point when we're in class, believing in the imaginary circumstances, having a full emotional life when you come in, and then allowing the task to change us and our partner. And then we have our door. So Leah is coming to get something from Jeremy. She can only get it from him and only at this time, and then she lets it go. That justifies why she knocks. She lets it go and she works off, which she did brilliantly. Okay, that's what we're working towards. Then we'll get into our relationships and then our scene work, but we'll, we'll talk about that in another video. Okay, once again, thanks for watching. Really appreciate having you all. Um, if you'd like a free class, please click the link below. Other than that, have a great day. Thanks.